first speaker we will hear from today will be our valedictorian, Aaron Roof. Aaron is the daughter of Larry and Gail Roof. Larry and Gail, where are you hiding? Please stand up. Aaron plans to per attend Purdue University in the fall and major in biology. Aaron has been active in high school by participating as a cheerleader, a member of the student council, and running cross country. She is also a member of the National Honor Society. She is active in her church youth group at First Christian Church and has served as a volunteer with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Aaron currently works part time at the Decatur County REMC. It's my honor to introduce Aaron Marie Roof. It's hard to believe that this long awaited day has come. Class of 2004, we finally made it. Our high school odyssey has come to an end. And as we begin to hear the many congratulations that always come with graduation, we need to remember to thank those people who helped us to make it here. As students, we have grown and matured into the young adults we are today because of the love and support of teachers, parents, coaches, and mentors who have inspired us since we were just kids. To those who encouraged us, those who believed in us when we had no faith in ourselves, you deserve as much praise and congratulations as every graduate sitting here today. Throughout my senior year, people have told me to enjoy my high school years while they last since they are the best years of your life. Looking back, I and most of my classmates can say that the last four years have been the best of our lives. High school has been a time to develop our personalities, interests, minds, and relationships with others. So many exciting events have occurred over the last four years, it's hard to even recall all of them. We received our driver's license and attended the prom. Athletes participated and excelled in their chosen sports. Many of us experienced our first love and first heartbreak here at GCHS. We performed in musicals, went to concerts, took countless tests and finals, and let loose at parties. Yet, some of the most memorable moments of high school have been the ones that to some would seem insignificant. For instance, I know I always remember the games of freeze tag in the hallway, <laughs> and the launchings of Skittles and even burritos in the lunchroom. Countless nights spent at Pizza King after ball games, and other nights but frantically calling other classmates for homework help will never be forgotten. Sometimes, nothing was more entertaining than driving through the country with a carload of friends and a great CD, or spending a lazy Sunday watching movies with your best friend. These are the moments, the experiences, that have made high school great. There's no doubt that we've had the time of our lives here at GCHS, yet, sitting here today, we're officially recognizing that this amazing chapter in our lives has come to an end. Our tomorrows have become yesterdays. And it's time for the class of 2004 to leave these yellow hallways. The last four years have come and gone so quickly. As everyone goes in separate directions, I hope that the next five, 10, and 20 years are even better than the last four. Don't let the memories of high school hold you back and keep you from accomplishing your dreams. Let the great times and the friendships inspire you to achieve your goals and make your future hold the best years of your life. In one of their last albums, the Beatles sang, In the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. I know that as I leave today, I take much more than an education and a diploma with me. I'm taking with me the love and compassion of my class and many wonderful memories and friendships. To my classmates who have become friends and my friends who have become like family, you have made the last four years the best of my life. As we all part ways today, I hope that the coming years are even better. Thank you, congratulations, and good luck. <laughs> 